What about when the partner's dead and gone? And I know someone this happened to. Alison's been in touch and she said, um, I didn't find out my husband cheated on me until he died, suddenly. Mm. Uh, she said, even worse to discover, it was with another man. And you would be surprised at how common that kind of deathbed revelation really is, or post-death. I mean, there are a couple of things that will be really haunting this lady. Partly the fact that um, the a partner died so suddenly and therefore there was no attempt to have a conversation where you could even think about forgiveness or moving on. That secondly, you find out that your partner has um, had the relationship with somebody of the same sex. So you've got that whole issue around uh, sexual orientation and does that shed any light on earlier behaviour that, that had bugged you or puzzled you before. So there are so many unknowns and so little closure at this point. So it's very important that Alison finds somebody that she can talk to. It might have mm -hmm. to be a professional person or it could be a really trusted friend. Right. And would marriage guidance, <coughs> and I know her, her husband's Or died, even bereavement. Uh, bereavement. You know, you could, you could find a forum whereby you can start to process feelings of anger, mm -hmm. feelings of um, confusion. Was there something that I did? Because often when there is a relationship conflict or relationship crime, at, at some point you might have to look to yourself. You know, what was I... What was my role in this? This is not to condone anybody who cheats. No. Don't, don't get me wrong. But but People say it takes two and relationships Yes, th th there might be something missing in the relationship that could easily be repaired, could easily be rectified, and there's no opportunity for repair in this one. So you're going to have to do the repair work for on her, yourself. For herself. Mm. I have never heard you say the Museum of Hurts before, mm -hmm. and that's, um, well, that's a Well, it's great because we all, we all trot off to it and open the cabinet and say, look what you did last Thursday. Yeah. Look what you promised never to do two years ago. It's so easy, but it's... Um, that's part of your commitment to be able to say, OK, I'm, I'm not going to sweep okay. things under the carpet. I'm not mm. ignoring what you did, but I'm not going to keep it, L Lucy, keep bringing it up. Lucy, thank you. Sound advice as always. Thank, thank you. you very much indeed.